for my arid tanks, I use two types of soil. This mix, and I actually already had some of it mixed up, so that's what you're seeing. It's kind of all jumbled together. And I put the topsoil down and then poured the other stuff on top of it and didn't lay it out neatly um, like I did in my other video because I wasn't thinking about making a video and then I realized I needed to do this. So um, apologies for that. But I'll put the recipes in the description so that you can read all of the parts because um, it's late at night while I'm making this and I'm too tired to tell you off the top of my head even though I just looked at it to make sure that I did the ratios the same way as I usually do. Um, but it's topsoil and sand and cocoa fiber and reptile bark or orchid bark, which is basically the same thing. They're both a fine fur bark, so just whatever um, you can come by. And then I usually crush some leaf litter up in it, and I haven't done that here. This forms the underlayer, and it is a much more humid mix. Um, and I put a couple of inches of that in first so that the isopods and springtails have a place to go. There's a humid layer um, that wicks water for the plants. And uh, I make sure that this layer stays visibly damp on about the third, like the right, my, my hot side so far have always been on the left and my humid and cooler sides are on the right. So about the third, a third of the right side of the tank, um, I make sure stays uh, bit kind of visibly damp in this layer. And I will take a daylight shot of that to add to this video so that you can see what that looks like. So that's the mix for the bottom. Um, easier than making my humid mix. There's no spagnum moss to chop up or anything. Um, and then you just mix that, mix that all together. Um, there's, you can see there's topsoil underneath here. It's the darker stuff. Anyway, so I'll be mixing that all up. And then that is the bottom layer. And then the top layer um, is mostly, is three, like three parts sand, which you can't see all the sand because it's underneath some of this other, um, these other materials. And then there's a little bit of orchid bark um, just to um, have a little bit more of a, a varied texture. There's um, some excavator clay, topsoil, and a little bit of cocoa fiber in this as well. And once again, I'll put the ratios all in the description. And then you just mix this all up um, and it, it forms this reddish, this reddish type of sand. So I'll mix this and come back and show you what that looks like.